Hello again, John here. This video is about this little gadget that you probably saw when I did my introduction video. And what this gadget is, is a solid state disk drive from the Commodore 64. Its actual name, as you've probably seen on other videos on YouTube, is an SD to IEC drive. And the beauty of this is that you can store all your 64 programs and games and stuff in the D64 format or the other disk um, drive formats for the emulator and then stick them on to an SD card. Now this is an 8 gig one as you can see and and when you plug it into your 64, it fools the 64 in thinking that it's a uh, disk drive and allows you to interact with it if it was a true 1541 or 1571 disk drive. Now this has several controls. So here, where my finger is, is the reset button. So if you do get a say a file not found or it actually errors trying to get the information off the SD card you can actually reset the hardware not the 64 but just this by pressing that button and it resets it at the top we have two LEDs and these two let me just get my fingers out of the way so you can see and those two LEDs there you go the top one is a flashing green LED which says it's uh, it's busy and ready and the second one is a red LED that indicates that it's in a state of error. The two push buttons here allow you to navigate through D64 files in the same directory so if you've got a D64 file mounted you can actually move up a file or down a file. Here we have the dip switches and currently it's set to drive 8 but you can dip switch it to be drive 9, 10 or 11. You can also software um, set it but uh, we'll just leave it as drive 8. The other beautiful thing about this is other SD to IEC uh, hardware is like looks like a um, Commodore disk drive with cables that plug into the back of the 64 which plug in back to the tape port and the serial port and while they are look good I don't like the fact of having something dangling around so I found this on the uh, retrofund.info website on eBay around about £35 and it allows you to plug it directly into the back of the 64 so this goes into the tape adapt uh, connector and then we've got the serial connector here that it goes into and the beautiful thing about it is when you plug it into the back of the 64 you can still plug in your disk drive and access that as long as it's not drive whatever you've specified on this board. So you could plug your 1541 or 1571 drive into it, make it drive 9, this being drive 8, and you can still um, communicate with it. You can also copy files from your disk drive to here. So you don't have to have one of these um, uh, UX 1541 cables or uh, or the, the USB equivalent which I had big problems with because with me being on Windows 10 it was a bit difficult to get started but it seems to work really well on this so what we're going to do is we'll plug it in and then we'll switch it on so as you can see I've got the 64 here so we'll just turn it around so you can see it we'll take the screen cable out and it's just a simple case of connecting it up 
to the tape port and the serial port like so and there it is fits on the back and my son is going to build me a case that goes around it to hide it and just allow us to see the uh, bits this is just a standard fat uh, formatted SD card uh, with lots of directories on it and I'll take you through the contents of the SD card uh, in a moment when I take it to the computer and so you can see what's on it so I'll see you on my computer so I've just plugged the SD card into my computer and as you can see it's just just like a normal um, disk drive on Windows so I've got a, a test D64 file here which I was testing on mounting and dismounting we've got a program called FB64 and this is a 64 program that allows you to navigate these SD to IEC uh, for, uh, SD cards this is just a Windows um, boot X file that is generated when you do a validation or uh, you know skin uh, not skin uh, disk scan um, programs these are all the different versions of the file browser so we've got a Commodore 16 version we have got a VIC 20 version a VIC 20 with 3k a VIC 20 with 8k uh, 64 version the D and the Commodore 128 version so I have just copied the one I I'm going to use into the root directory all the time then we have got my games so I've got um, a, a D64 file where I was trying to copy games to and from I've got cartridges all separated by the uh, first letter because one thing I have noticed on the SD to IEC system is that each directory if it has more than 144 entries it has a problem so I've been splitting them down to make sure you don't have more than 144 entries in a directory uh, which is a bit of an issue when it comes to the games as you can see I've only got up to M um, so but um, I've also got my stuff so this is all the disks I've been extracting from my disk drives, uh, disks on the 1571 and I've been copying them across uh, damaged means that um, the copy didn't quite work because of a uh, uh, track 18 issue on the directory and they got a, a directory called favorites and these are the fa my favorite games that I used to play when I was a child so I have got them in this directory to allow us to play and I'll show you a, a, a directory to go so that's the structure of the SD card so we'll put it back into the uh, SD to IEC and then we'll spark up the 64 so you can see how to interact with it right, I'll see you in a bit hello right I'll put the SD card into the uh, SD to IEC and I've also put a reset cartridge into the 64 so I can just press the button if anything goes wrong if we need to reset it so we will uh, point the camera at the telly and re switch it on there we go so I'm hoping you can see the telly so we should be able to load the root directory off the solid state drive there we go now the quick way of doing this is using the file browser so, which is the one I put on the root directory so we'll load that in and then we can run now this allows us to navigate the uh, solid state drive and run any programs that are on it so we'll click faves so that's where all the that's the directory with all the games in and let's say we will run hunchback 
So that's gone into now that's now gone into the image of it. So if we press quit, so if we now do a load now, now we come out, we should see there's only one there's only one file in there. And that's the uh, hunchback file. So if I do file now this may take a while, so uh, we'll speed it up until it hits the point and then I'll slow it down. There you go. So if we run now, there's Hunchback. So keyboard Right, okay, A. There you go. Now that's loading, that's now, that's selecting the um, D64 file, jumping out of the file browser and then loading up naturally. But we could have run this from within the file browser. So, I'll stop this. Now if I load again, because I only re did a soft reset, the SD to IEC card remembers where we are, so it's, it knows that we're still in the Hunchback uh, D64 file. Now, there's no way of getting back using the, the, there was no way of getting back to load the file browser unless you had that file browser in HD D64. But there is an operation that you can do. You can talk to it direct using channel 15, talk to device A, commands, and just say CD colon arrow. And then you need to close the channel directly afterwards. That, so if we do dollar now, we should be back into the faves directory and list all the favorites there you go so we have to do the same thing again now this should have put it back to the root directory which it does now there's a quick way of doing it so let me um, load FB64 up. And we'll do the same thing again. So in favorites. Now we'll go in a different one this time. Beachhead. So there you are. There's Beachhead. So we'll quit out. Right. So if we load the directory. It should be beachhead. Now, to get back to the root, we have to unmount beachhead by typing in this. Oops. Now that should have put us back into the solid state drive state. Which, which it has does, and now we should be able to um, tell it to go back to the root, which is that. There you go, and that was a quick way. So you, you can't tell it to go back to the root once you're in. Once you're mounted, you've got to dismount that D64 file and then send it to tell it to go back. But some people have the FB64 file in all of their directories. I don't intend to do that because I wrote back in my my youth a um, extended basic um, routine, which will load FB64 and so we can get to it pretty, a lot quicker. So it's in mine, and it's in that one. And there you go, it's called Extended Basic Machine Code. 
So if I load that in, now it shouldn't take that too long. Right, so that's loaded in, but because it's machine code and it's not in the basic space, we have to do a run, stop and restore. There you go, now it's activated. So, if I click on help, these are all the commands that I wrote. And the first one is catalog. So, shift C8, and that lists the directory that's in that image at the moment. And what I'm thinking of doing is loading this these state loading this state the, the assembly statements which is there number 10 into the um, pc and making a load of um, helpful basic commands to allow us to talk with the sd to iec so it would perform all these commands that we want so there could be a command that says unmount which would perform this So if I do catalog now, let's clear screen. There you go, it's gone back to the directory. And also um, put um, commands in called like change directory or change dir that will allow you to specify a directory, make dir, which would make a directory because we've already done that. Why have we? No, I don't think we have. So if I send this back to the root, so there we are, back to the root. See my my written program. See because the. It, this is emulating a disk drive. My program thinks it's a disk drive. So if I go into, so we, there's a, can you see that test MD? That's me playing around. So we can remove that directory. Ooh. Fat finger syndrome. gone we can also do a make direct and we can do the same with make directory so instead of rd it's md and we'll call it test jcd so now that's making the directory so it says it's done so we'll look see if it's there there you go and so i can make create some basic commands that allows us to interact with it I think I may have done it a bit too early then so let's just see if it's gone yeah it's gone so I could extend this but I need to put it into the PC and then we can write a set of commands just specifically for the SD to IEC system. So that is the SD to IEC uh, interface using SD cards as a solid state drive on the Commodore 64. I will hope I hope you find this interesting and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.